Hello and welcome back. Right, we have got work to do. We have. We have got our fields to... Uh, never, I'm trying to remind myself, what did we... Have we left some bits and bobs over? I said I would bring it all across, didn't I? I'm sure I have. Oh, no, no, I've got everything I need. It's fantastic. Right, let's get that going then. Yeah, cows are okay. They could do with a little bit of... Um, food but yeah they're okay Not, nothing's hurting I've just had a quick poke around yeah, this was a few days I normally do a few but uh, there was not an initial uh, interest in this map so I thought well I'm going to leave it for a few days but I'm yeah going to have a I'm going to have a go anyway I don't I like to do these but I'd got a lot of other maps that yeah I needed to sort of catch up so I thought but I'm, I'm going to have another go because I personally like this map I think it's very nice I'm honest, so yeah, I'm going to give this a, a good thing and we're going to go and plant our. Now that reminds me, I can't remember. I can't remember what we said we were going to do. Yeah. Smashing now, our first field is very close, isn't it? I remember we changed fields. Now that much I do remember, which is not like me to remember such things. We can. I think we should get the worker going on this. This is, I think, my favourite field. I think we could extend this slightly as well. But, you know, I actually like wood headlands. So I think, now then, weeds. What can we... What can we remind myself? And see if this time I can actually get the planting to be green. Which is a fairly obvious colour. I got this totally mixed up the other day. So we can do wheat, barley or canola. I'd like to go straws. Let's go, let's go barley. Right, let's set courseway cracking on and we will go and do some other work. Create your oh, let's zoom in a little, that's a bit, huh? Fickle is missing. <laughs> oh, it's, I was going to say, what on earth is it on about? Right, that's better. Okay. Generator, I'll do three headlands I think. One tool generate and and let's save that. Save course. Ooh, he says twenty-eight. Ah, now if you noticed, just a little bit of a tip with course play, if I, when I w was on that, if it doesn't show the course, ah, it does actually, yeah, he's at, right, he's got it, that's alright then. Save course, oh, do you know, I still, the, I, do, I did look, actually, 28, save, activate, ah, see, it has gone wrong, I knew it did that. Do you know something? <laughs> let's, let's leave it be a minute. I've obviously upset it, and I'm not going to faff around. I always say that it's one of those things when you when you do content creation, the show must go on, and you've got to like just if it doesn't work, leave it alone. It's still doing its job. It will. We can always redo the course another time, right? We're going to do the fertilizing. We are now. Then that's yeah. I've got my go to at the minute haven't we yet yeah, which as a start from scratcher our equipment usually has to be quite reasonable and that really does tick the uh, tick the right boxes right we don't want to use our bestest tractor because that's just well well over Ooh, we could no we don't need to worry about that for us to start with do we about uh, damaging crop because it's only just been planted so yeah would normally worry about this. I do like this tractor, but it is a bit thirsty and its brakes are a bit spongy. Apart from that, it's good, and I do like articulate tractors, I really do. Actually, oh no, I didn't. I thought I was going to make it, but I was right. I 
initial instinct was I'm not going to quite make that, but hey ho. Right, oh, now it's going to go through the hedge then. Yeah, I do like this. Oh, that's a bit of a bump. Now that is doing it, I, I remember it. Yes, precision farming, there's no crop in it, so it's doing it to literally perfect pH based upon no crop type. Now that is good. Ooh, so that's what he absolutely canes the... Uh, yeah, that's, that's realistic. It's, yeah. See, I understand that. That's that's to be expected, really. Yes, it's quite a big field, you know. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah, that's four meters. That is tiny. I like this one because it was adjoining our thing. Yeah, the other two got to go through the animals, and and yeah, I know you. Yeah, I just didn't fancy doing that all the time. Call me a coward. <laughs> That was better. That was better. Yes. Smashing. Right. And then we'll do our others. That will do for you as well. Just a little patch in the middle. All done. Smash it. Excellent. Let's fill that up. Let's go across the road. Yeah. Yeah, I was quite pleased with my uh, path. It was, yeah, I thought it was quite believable. Shame we had to waste a bit of the field, but it's yeah, it's it's a sacrifice you've got to make to use the, to get the things in that you uh, want in. Please. It was nice to actually get um, with some vehicles. It was nice to start. I do like it when the map makers do think of the start from scratches. Because I'm quite sure I'm not the only one that does like the start from scratch. Yes, yeah, I found it the most challenging start of all. And I know people do take even start from scratch to a new level as well. But as a start, as a game start it is a challenge already you don't really need to look any further than start from scratch really you don't need to do anything special it is a challenge in itself yeah and even more so in FS22 yeah the new start from scratch is yeah a challenge I even I love start from scratch and I do find it an absolute challenge right. yeah. this is still a big field I'm glad that I've not ruined it I was yeah I did hate the fact that I'd got to take a chunk out of it. Right. Yeah, this is going to need to be the same as the other one. Yeah, grass has uh, changed in its pH um, to what it was used to. I've seen that a couple of times now in a couple of different episodes since the change last week. It was an official, or whether it was a silent, or a small one, but it, it definitely, yeah, it's definitely changed the colour of grass. Grass is normally used to be the colours that we're seeing now, really dark green, but really livid green. But now it's sort of going an orangey colour and saying that everything's okay. So yeah, very strange. I do like this, uh, I like the farmyard and everything, I'm glad, even obviously we did need to buy the farmyard, but yeah, I have, I do like it, it's a nice layout, and again, that is another option I actually like, which is a lot of um, map makers don't do, with start from scratch, you just literally get a blank field or a blank yard and all of the buildings and everything are gone, I like the fact that as a start from scratch we've actually got those options it really is nice yeah it's nice not to be forgotten is what I'm trying to say very much appreciated so yeah 
there's a few map makers who've left bits of equipment so again that's appreciated too it really is it's nice because it is a tough start it is nice if someone remembers you so I, I found this an absolute refreshing start a refreshing change and we do actually got some bits and bobs now then this is a good place to actually yeah it's a lot of wasted space not that we need any shed space we've definitely been more than what's after in that regard but so we should only need one I do like this because it's I like the Lizard WMXL that is my absolute favourite but it's uh, because it's four and a half tons it's not for every it's got to be a, for bigger tractors it really has and uh, if you I've actually used the Zeta a few times and it this one actually works on the Zeta it does it's got like a, I think I had it on the 2100 and odd Street. Oh, okay. We appear to have had a crash. And I never saw the game screen. But yeah, that's another thing that's still broken. Messaging system. Although, he appears not to know that there is a problem. Hence the fact he didn't message anybody. Yes, I did stop you manually, Franz, because you were just being silly. What? Uh, he went wrong for no reason. He did a turnaround. Why? Right, we're going to have to turn the lines on a minute. Okay, let's just follow the lines. He went as he should. Should have gone down there. You were turning around for this a while. Ah, perhaps I needed three headlands then. Okay. I don't know. Right, let's get cracking. Why are you not? Why did that? I must have stopped that by mistake. I saw it. Yeah, that's bizarre. When I think of the word, I should tell you what I was pressing that wasn't working, but it wasn't working because the engine wasn't on, so yes. Cruise control is the word I'm looking for. Yes. I was pressing cruise control and nothing was happening, which it wouldn't do if your engine's off, but I must have accidentally caught that because, yeah. There's no reason at all. Right. Yeah, I'm still unsure as we whether we should buy another field with having that amount of extra money, but I always do like to keep, yeah, I would I would say we've only got fifty nine grand ish to play with. Don't really like to take it much below that. I really don't. It's, yeah, rainy days come a little bit too often in this game. So yes, you never know if you've missed a piece of equipment or something like that, or that's a point. I can't remember what we was it looking the same. So I can't remember what it was. I know we have looked. So I'm not saying that it's yeah. I'm saying extractor. I know I'm buying loose though for that, aren't I? That's actually quite reasonable for that. We are going to need one as well, aren't we? Let me just remind myself, have I had got the nursing one that, and did I think of this? Do you know I oh I did, I did. I can see it. Yeah, I did think of the nursing tank, so no we won't be doing it. We've already done You what? What have you Huh? Oh, don't tell me. So it's delayed then. That was the error message that we should have got five minutes ago and it crashed into the thing. So it's not that the error messages aren't working. It's that they're delayed. Now, I did have the core display message system on for a long time, which was annoying me. And all it was was a setting, which I found the other day. So that is now off. So 
can at least see the messages. But yeah, so I was right. The messages, it's not, they're not broken, sort of, but they are in another way. Yeah, they're l delayed, which that does explain a lot. It's another thing that still needs fixing. Or is this another thing that actually got broken? Yeah, th that's probably the best way to put it. Yeah. Getting used to things being fixed, but actually other things being broken in their place. We still have, yeah, gear changes which are a bit ropey. Especially for the manual ones. They are so awful. Yeah, I've, I've got a couple of tractors that I use the Traction King a lot, and its gears are so awful. You've got to, that's why I always I have the change up and change down key, because they get stuck between one and two for those type of tractors that are not automatic automatics. Yeah. Weird things happen to the gears as well. Oh, just look at that pH. Is that not nice? Sorry, <laughs> nitrogen even. Yeah, look at that. That 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 is nice. Wow. Yeah, they used a full top. Well, actually, we're halfway through, aren't we? So yeah, it's not bad at all. Yes, I'm so glad we have got precision farming back. And it's the one thing I seriously missed going from 22, from 19 to 22. Seriously did. So happy that it is back. And quite pleased that it's not fundamentally changed. Yeah. Now that reminds me, I just said that. Did I? Pl I think I did. I'm sure I remember to place the... Helper, helper, <laughs> the RT, RT station, RTK station, that's the one. Let's look it over there, I can see it, yes I did, it's alright there. Smashing, I've not ejected mine. There we go, we have there. Right, we have a little bit of milk, but we're going to leave that till morning. So we've got a serious amount, and then have we... We ought to, while that is doing busy... Planting. We want to go and grab the. It will make sense in a minute. Yeah, we want to go and grab the nursing tank, wouldn't we? Sure. It has got a pin hitch on the back. Let's go and see. I do like this one. So again, another very reasonable way, and I love the fact you can see very clearly the three-point link on it, and obviously, it's. It's as little as 1.5 tons or as much as 3 tons because of the fact you can add a ton and a half of water. Yeah, very good. As well as it can also be used as a. Uh, if for carrying water and a few other things. I can't remember the it's three or four bits of bobs it can take. I think it's fuel. Is it fuel? I'm not sure. It's definitely water. There's a couple of other things. I can't remember if it's uh, herbicide and. It's, yeah, because I got confused. I thought it might do digestate and things like that, but it does do water and um, it may be diesel and things like that. This was not the best thing to come across the map, and I always say that, but yeah, we do need its ability. So, it's going to get us a long way away. Did I buy a full load of tractors? Smash it. Now then, this. That's right, I bought two of these. Seriously. Ah, now I think, now that bale tool is, ah, let's grab it. This does not like the nursing tank. I did have difficulty with this. Oh, I need to reset this. We are in the right place at least. That works as well as I anticipated. That's that's rare. Let's see if we can leave this over here because we can't only take so much. Right, I think we're going to use this one because this has got proper normal bale spikes. Right, one well, thing we will do though quickly is we'll go grab another tractor. I'd forgotten that we'd bought that, so we've still got the other field to do. So let's grab the. No, let's grab the magnet. 
Yes, that's what I might say. So I've got a bit of stuff. I do like this. Very rare that I get such a beautiful beast as this to start with. So massive uh, massive shout out to the map maker, Steve's. Steve's mods? Is that right? I, don't think it, I know it's Steve's. Steve. It's not Stevie either, it's Steve's. Mod Steve's. So, yeah. Thank you. So it is a beautiful map. I think it is very nice. Very nice indeed. And I love the size of your um, headlands. They are my kind of spacings very generous and very believable the entrances to the fields a lot of thought has gone into um, gate sizes and things like that which I personally appreciate I do yes not something that some some of even the great map makers I've gone to a field and thought mm, that's a little bit strange yeah even Carmsden yes I love Carmsden but there were a couple of fields on that that even the great names and I mean he Oxygen David he is an absolute master, he is, but yeah, it is easy for, and also as I did note on that when I was whinging about it, was the fact that it does happen in real life too, yeah, when fields are uh, done, that's not doing like that, that's going to this is going to perfectly, the only thing we're going to need to grab is the bale spike, from why have I bought a bale spike? on this, that's why, isn't it, actually, thinking about it. I should think I have, I'm sure I saw a bait, I have. Ah, that's why I bought a pale spike then. That explains totally why. No. No, this doesn't fold. I suppose it's just about not too big for that to be not a problem, really. Right, we shall set this beast going. We shall go grab the front loader tools and we should put the nurse tag on top of that. On top of the trailer that we bought special for it. We are going to need a proper trailer though, maybe a second one. I do love that trailer, it is so amazing for the money. It is. Yeah, I didn't always feel like that. Yeah, I did have to get used to it. It's the first time I used it. I think I did actually curse it a little because. I tried to load it like a normal bale trailer and it's got wheels in the middle, it's best and obviously also it's it's a bit of a challenge for that fact but yeah. It's not your run of the mill, it has a bit of a learning curve but yeah, I was prepared to uh, I was prepared to learn and I'm very glad because it is I've seen a lot of um bale trailers and there is nothing as reasonable as that and it is a cracking a lovely little trailer it is ideal for someone like myself who does start from scratches yes. right and how are we doing yeah, you're doing very well right so then we need to let's see if this time I can get course play right actually what field are we on 12 Right, it's a start at least. Create job. Yes, it's got that all right. We're going to go for three headlands. I thought we had done that on the other one. Generate. Save. Ah, it didn't save because it's got no folder to save into. Right. I don't know. Oh, you have to come out. I'll show you. Yeah, you have to. It's a foible. Yeah. You can't, it won't let you do it. You have to go out and then go back in. And then you can press save course and activate. So field 12, 4 meters. And I want to get rid of all marks. I'm trying to be good so that it looks very nice for everybody. First. Yes. I left on the default. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, I'm happy. It's, it's, a, it's got a straw base. That's all I'm really bothered about. Right. We don't want that on. I'm glad we saw that. And 
right, I want to be across the road. And we want to have the spikes out, which they are. Fantastic. I do love this, this is so clever. It is such an absolute amazing mod as well, it really is. It's got it again, it's one of those, it's got foibles. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it, I like it a lot. It's got little tiny holes if you zoom in. I'm not quite in the right place, but actually they're sort of a bit cheaty. They're not, yeah, you can, as long as you're at that level, you see I'm actually going into the metalwork. It does allow for, yeah, different sized things. But it does allow for anything really to lift it when it's empty but try doing this when it's full and not so much yeah it's not designed for you to lift unless you were a monster with 13 tons of uh, liquids in it yeah I had trouble with this uh, but it wasn't this as fault well. it doesn't like the HTZ so I'm going to try to avoid using that for this yeah it really does not like that at all it's I don't know whether it's the articulation or what but yeah, I've had a couple of disasters on my Lepacho, and I definitely do put it down to that. Let's put that away. We could be clever here. A clever person would stick this on the back of the trailer and grab the other one as well. So, yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, that's not saying that I'm clever. Yeah, if you watch any of my... Uh, long enough you'll know that yeah I muddle along like the rest of them and I'm not afraid to show my mistakes because that is all too human right, I should be able to that from the back one we've done, got a full ass everything's across then that is of course if I can grab the Stick a foot through the window, I guess. No, I didn't. This has got the trailer thing. Is that a ball cup? No, it's not. There we go. Smash in. Full ass. Spikes, I do not. I really do like this. Uh, yeah, I use this an awful lot on the old stream farm. I really do like it. That's especially with the big spikes, but it is the equally, but I've tried it with the little spikes as well. Very, very, and very reasonable as well as very good. And also, it's got wall, wall, wall straps. It has. Two vehicles to it. Ooh, 28 looks like he's done done. Ah, and just either, either, again, either the messaging system was late or they have only just finished as we looked. So either could be a possibility. Another thing I do love about this is the walls. Absolutely amazing. Just look at that, the weeds in that next to the walls. So authentic. And the weeds in the hedges. Now, this is what I call attention to detail. Yeah, it's, it's the small things. I always say that. It is the small things that make things. And yeah, and obviously there will be problems. There's going to be issues. I know that. Everybody knows that. It's going to allow for that. But it is a beautiful map. Yeah, when I first this is this had the same wow factor to me as Carmston when I first went around it. I mean, there's some things that are obviously yeah. I'm not. It's not. No, actually, because we're going to need tools more. Let's drop a similar to a place where the stone thing is. So we can access it. It's not in the way there, is it? Smash it. Now then, we need to quickly undo those. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Let's go and get the other tool off. So we've got. I think this is so amazing. These self-made. Uh, oh, yeah, this one because it's a bucket and uh, again multi-purpose. I do love 
mods at the mod makers. A few, quite a lot of updates today. An awful lot of updates. A few new things as well. Yeah. The uh, Asada has been updated by uh, Radical G Play. I did notice that. Fantastic map. Again, that another one actually that I think is a great map of great attention to detail and also proves what a good modder he is for the fact that it's already yeah already sort of sorted in just two or three weeks I and mean, the side is not getting out very long and that is someone who's serious about their their map I like that of course I did realize playing uh, his map that it was absolutely excellent and yeah but that doesn't always mean a modder wishes to fix problems and obviously I always think that's a a great quality when a modder does do things like that it really does prove now that actually this is not a bad place to live this yeah that's the point actually yeah I would like to let's do a couple of tests I've still got an indicator on see it flashing First of all, make sure that our first tractor has finished their job. I'm not going to say him or her. Their job. Nitrogen bad? We just went and did that. Okay. Well, we should come and redo that then. There's bits and bobs that are not so good. Okay, right. pH perfect, nitrogen bad on this field. And let's see. We have stones. Oh, we've locked them in now. Yeah, we've planted, so it's tough. Do you know, Wally, I actually got the stoner. I could have done that. Do you know, attention to detail. Right, growth, yes, 20. There's a little patch over the back. Let's have a quick look while we've got it all here. Let's see if we can uh, see what's. Let's lift. Oh, no, it was all. Ah, uh, it'll be where it went wrong, won't it? Of course, over here. That looks up. Oh, no, I can't see it actually. Yeah, I can. Here. Two little patches. And then there's the corner pieces, which I'm not really that bothered about. They're only tiny little things, but we are here, so why not? Right, there's a couple of those as well. Let's be thorough. I can see those weeds growing through. Now, there's a thing. If you do this, does that mean because you've destroyed the weeds that you've actually weeded? I don't think it does, does it? No, it doesn't. It needs rolling and weeds growing right. Have we got a weeder on this let's play? That is the question. We shall have a look. Have we got a sprayer or a weeder? That is the real question. Cultivator, baby. Yes, I'm wanting to test the uh, transport box transporter. It was my absolute favourite in FS19. I used to use it an awful lot. But this by Black Sheep Modding has become an absolute amazing. I do love this one. It's absolutely fantastic. And you can fit it from a field trigger, which makes it even more versatile than the original. Yeah, again, the transporter doesn't do that, but it is also a shovel, whereas this isn't. So, yeah, strengths and weaknesses, it's not. Yeah, what I would like to do is test. Just see if you can. Have I got a... I have got a silo, but it is a... Yeah, it's not a multi-fruit. I would like to swap it, but it won't let me sell it. Yeah, that's the o only... Not criticism. It isn't criticism. It's, yeah, there's... I, I would have liked it if 
we could have some of the things were spaced a little bit not to my liking and also we're not going to be using that so it would have been nice to be able to get rid of that if we'd have wanted and this as well it will not let you get rid of it so again it's sort of quite yeah there's a lot of space behind it and awful lots that we could have made use of had that not been where it is but yeah it's that's my only critique and it is yeah not a terrible terrible thing i can live with it Right, so then, let's just see if we can start filling you. And yeah, seeds will do. We've just spent 1,300. Can I directly tip into that? Should be able to. Is an object can indeed smashing, so it can be filled like that. So that's quite a quite a good thing. I think it's three tons or th three tons limit to it, so that is quite good. So again, now that ah, that is another yeah. Let's just test that. Yeah, I would like to. Uh, The other, yeah, Franz is doing well. I've not changed their name, they're not Star Wars at the minute, they're just normal names, the default names. Right, let's move you out of the way. I just want to see if this can still be sensed by things like this, as this one can. It now it did used to again, it, I realize this is FS22. I'm just trying to gauge my mods. I did think the transport was amazing. Yeah, and it is. It can also be used as a shovel, so that means ah, let's test that out as well. We shall literally tip the contents out on the floor, and we shall, uh, yeah, test it out. I did used to love that about it. The only criticism I've got, not criticism, no, because the old one was the same. Is it is exactly the same as the old. It would have been lovely to have this as a for, to to grab things from a field trigger yes it does sense it see so that means great this can still be used like now then it's yeah and I think it's all oh no now why are you not tipping do I need to Trying to plant it. Trying to. Ah. Well, that's interesting. For a shovel to be working and with no front on, you would expect that to actually come out. Does it need to be told to unload? Yes. Lovely. Yeah same as anything else right so then if we go backwards we now lower tilt so that's not fully lowered do we need to really lower it yes we do now then you the old one you had to get just right as well it is not was a little fiddly the old one as well. Okay, not that fiddly though. So it's not working as a shovel, not for... Oh, that's a shame. Perhaps it's something that will get fixed soon, but that is definitely right. Let's try it. No, no, yeah. It's got to be low enough to do it. Yeah. Now this is this was the strength of the original one. I actually first bought the original uh, transporter for a shovel, but then soon realised that it got an awful lot of uses, including as a front box for this. But obviously this, although it should be and is supposed to be doing that, isn't actually doing it yet. Which is a shame because it is one of its uh, one of its strengths, if I'm honest. It's one of the main reasons I would have bought it for a shovel, 
So, yeah, that is a real shame. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not going to unload it just yet. No, definitely not. I give mods plenty of chance. It's only just been released a couple of weeks ago, and it is a fantastic mod, even as it is, it is, but yeah. I think I would stick to the Black Sheep mod in which has been out for a long time and does everything except the shovel function. Yeah. In fact, yeah, that's, I can still use it for with that though. That's uh, I'm not gonna see it like as if it's a disgrace, it's not, it's very good. Right, smash it. Let's grab that off the floor. Test completed. See, I don't do mod tests per se as yet, but we do. I do like to use the newer mods and also show highlight mods that are I found very effective. And this is one of them. Is uh, yeah, I do love this bucket and stroke. Yeah, spikes. It is very good, and that there's nothing wrong with that at all, apart from the fact that I yeah, that's the only fault with it was the person using it, not the actual bucket. I do love the fact you can put all the different colours on it. Right, so we have our little fork truck in the Zeta, which is its main function on this, yeah. It was cheaper than buying a proper fork truck, so... Fantastic. Let's see how it looks the road. Oh! Yet another example of no message. Watch this. Watch this. No, it's still not. You're not kidding, I stopped you manually, friends. Right, okay. I think it's will probably be. Uh, yeah, this turnaround. I think it's going to be more just so it's about. I would say you are only for the next couple. Do you know, I think we're going to do this ourselves. I do, yeah, because it's going to be a, a bit of a world of hurt, I think, on that particular area. So let's take over for five minutes. Yes, yeah, I do. I think this map is something else. It is, yeah, nice, very nice. Yeah, well, again, there's a few maps that have got that authenticity. Carmston has been my favourite map up until, yeah, right up until now. It really has. It's got, it's beautiful. It really is exquisite. Yeah, and I, uh, again, not being nasty, but on the day of release, the BGA didn't work on that. Same as the old stream farm didn't. A lot of them, this one hasn't. Yeah, there's a quite a few where they don't work perfectly in the FS22 mode straight away. So yeah, that's quite a common thing. Oxygen David's was the same, so yeah. You don't expect perfection straight away. Again, a mark of a great modder is someone who fixes their mods, corrects them quickly, and that, again Oxygen David was exceptionally quick on fixing the BGA and all the bits and bobs right at the beginning, so yeah. Mark of the Master. Yeah. Another, there's Alien Jim as well, another modder and map maker that I've got the ultimate respect for. So many fantastic maps. Yeah, I always look forward to it. I thoroughly enjoy the. Enjoy the uh, I always get this wrong. Western Wilds. Yeah, I think for once I've got it right. So yeah, I thoroughly enjoy that map. Yeah, we, wow, have we done well on that though last session absolutely smashed it and we've got quite a f yeah quite a lot of money left as well we put an absolute ton of animals down with a big roly christie one cow shed a big one and boy have we filled that with lots of cows yeah we literally it's, it's it is funny how you come to a certain episode on a let's play and then actually there's quite a bit of money comes in and you can do something that you really want to do and i 
I was planning on selling the oats. We've got 170, 270 tons. Is it 170? A lot, of, a lot of oats. And I was going to sell them in. I think it's December, January is its best time to sell. And I was going to do the animals then, but all of a sudden, uh, we, yeah, we literally cashed in the BGA and did all the running around of all the digest state and all that type of stuff. Uh, and the methane, and in gym BGA has got this fantastic ability to, it seems to pump out more methane than normal, which is fantastic. And it's got a really good sell point on the map, where you can sell it for a really good profit. So I made money that I really was not anticipating because of you know, the, the things that Alien Jim builds in and it was fantastic I was able to buy the uh, cows well before winter so we're a bit ahead now I've got to think of yeah I've even got enough money to buy another square of uh, another square of land oblong yeah so definitely well chuffed with that I mean, again, I've tried quite a few different kinds of mods. I've got fermenting silos in quite a big, a big extent on that. We did start off with traditional um, ferment, fermenting silos, traditional silos, clamps. Yeah, but we uh, I wanted to try the. Uh, let's switch that off. Let's just check that while we're here. Yes, smashing. That's both fields done. I can only see one tiny little blue on one corner in 28. So I'm happy with that. Smash it. This one's across. Now I'm going to keep this one quite. Yeah, I think we'll go through till morning, but I'm quite happy with what we've achieved in this session. And I don't want it to be a monster. So I'm going to put our equipment down go till morning because we planted everything and yeah leave it over there. I've left the little zeta running I can hear it's, it's got a very uh, quite a throaty engine I actually like that about it it's weird the magnum's got a really sort of nice sounding engine for how big it is and the uh, little zeta's got a real deep throttly uh, yeah yeah Let's just get that bit of, bit of seed off the floor. I don't want to believe in any mess around. I've had enough flat space where I've done that for ages. It's, it's messy. I'm trying to get better and things like that. Right. So then, at least that is going to be another storage box for things. It's just a shame about the shovel bit. I could have left that over. Mind you, it is funny. There's not that um, not so much of that goes on anymore in this in FS22, which is I don't know whether I preferred it the old way or prefer it the new way. Yeah, well, there's less for us to do. It's yeah. Actually, I did sometimes enjoy grabbing the muck out of the animals on that bit. We get giants can't win, so I'm not having a go about such a thing. Now this is what's leaving like that. Right. So we've checked the contracts. Are we going to do any contracts? No, we're going to we're going to concentrate on our farm for a little bit. I think, especially to begin with, this is all about highlighting the map, really. So we might do a few contracts. Let's have a look at the contracts for that matter. Ooh, we have got some fertilising ones. Yeah, but not today. We're not going to do that today. We are literally going to... Have I got fixed visual month on? Yeah, no, it's off. Fantastic. That must be a map by map thing then, because I did switch that on on one of them, so it didn't. it's not affected them all. I like that. Right. Now then, have we actually got the sleep trigger? I know we have got the house, but I don't think it's a proper sleep trigger, is it? We could, of course. Or is it? No, it's not. We could make it one. Couldn't we? We could literally put the mat down. I don't know if it'll let me place that mat on top of the other mat. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, that's, yes, I like that. Now then, we 
have done everything bar that little tiny bit of yeah we can still do that in the morning we yeah nitrogen's not now we're gonna go to nine Smashing. Wow, that's cheap maintenance. The same what mods we've got down. Wow, absolutely amazing. I do love it when your mods are good to you like that. Yeah, I mean we've got the mini BGA, we've got the yeah that, multi fruit, toolbox, and then whatever obviously yes, Steve's mods has got on the thing as well, silos. So that is amazing because there's quite a few farms that can absolutely cost you an arm and a leg. Right, let's look at my favourite part of the day. <gasps> That's a point. Oh my life, the duet. Oh, now if I'd have known that, we could still go for it though. Oh, I've left the engine running. Good job that's not real life and would have wasted all that fuel overnight. Right, okay. I am tempted. We have got a bit of money. We have. Now, that's one thing I did re realise. I've not done placeables, have I? Not done any uh, solar panels or anything like that. Do you know, for once, I think we're going to see if we can manage without it. Right, I think. Let me just check. I have. I've got the bat wing. Yeah, I don't need it. It's true. Nope. No point. Well, we could have that as a mulcher. I can't remind me, how big is it? 7.3 metres. It's only, yeah, 0.5 of a metre more than what we've got. Oh, we could buy another one of what we've got. And it's, yeah, it is nice, but it's also quite heavy on the horsepower requirements. I think we will buy that, though. Definitely. I don't think you can go wrong with that. 26951. I think we can adjust the. Yeah, we will. We are definitely going to buy you. And we are going to go across the road and we're going to fix you straight away. And bring you across, I think. I've done the... Why will I... Why am I keep going on the wrong menus? I still do that to this day. Right. Let's fix this. It's a long time since I've had a uh, proper front loader. Now then this hasn't got a repair trip, has it? No, that's true. Isn't it? Yeah, we'll see if we can convert the um, bits and bobs that we've got on the um, Zeta. Yeah. Because it would be nice if we've got this to actually treat this as the main. It is obviously built far better than a uh, tractor that has a front loader on it. Yeah, there are advantages to doing this. I'm going to look forward to using this, if I'm honest, for loading bales. I don't think I've had a front, I don't think I've had a front loader in FS22. I don't think I have, actually. It's a bit slow. I'm glad it's, yeah. This is slower than the Zeta. I suppose it is. That's why I, I don't really care about the Z to being slow. It's because it really is. It's not one you'd go across the map with. Is it like this? I mean, if we were going across the entire map, I would like to stick it on a low loader and bring it home. I would, but yeah, it's certainly not one that you would use as a run around. Is it? It is. It's got a specific purpose. So right, let's repair it and we'll leave it. At animals. We will do next time. Yeah, we will. We'll come in and we'll sort the animals out. What can we do to you? Not a lot, can we? No. Smash it. Excellent. Yeah, we will convert the bale spikes, I think. I'm sure I can go to a front loader on that. It is a front loader. It's already classed as a front loader, isn't it? Wally. Yeah. It's just that this is a dedicated front loader. Yeah. Let's see. Excellent. 
lovely chubbly. Right, smashing. We will leave it at that. Yeah. That's, a, that's an absolute bargain. It really was. Yeah, and we will. Yeah, it's a duet. It's a good mo, a good mo. But it is, as I say, we've already got one that does exactly the same thing and is only marginally smaller. So, I do love the battle. It is so amazing, and as well can be used for marching. So, yeah, what's not to like? Right. So there we go. Uh, yeah, another bargain. Yeah, nuclear let's plays. I always seem to get nice drops. Not all of the time, obviously. But I think the bait. Yeah, the beta was one of those drops, wasn't it? Yeah, doing quite well actually. Right, let's just have a quick look. Last job, let's just go and see. Yeah, we're going to need to spray it. Small, we can get away with a weed. But. So, do we buy a mechanical? No, I'm going to buy. Tell you what, I'm going to buy. Absolutely amazing mod again, and I do like to highlight mods like this. The one thing I thought was missing for an awful long time in the game was a small sprayer. Now I wouldn't normally choose to go this small, but yeah, to start with, you can leave a worker trundling around the field. There's the new 8 meter one. It's absolutely amazing. So I think we will partake of grabbing that for next session. We will spray is the John Deere. See, how people always think I have it in for John Deere. I don't. I think that is amazing. It's only nine meters, but it's yeah. It's I'd like to go bigger, but there's there's the pill mitt, but I've featured that on a few, and that is much bigger, and it is a uh, much dearer as well. So yeah, you could actually buy a couple of these. Really, let's go now. Yeah, now the only thing I will say is I did find if you use it yourself, I used this on a field and I actually did damage. I think I had the lizard wheels on, so we'll try it with a continental. And we'll go for a different colour. Let's try to go for black. Ooh, that does look nice. I do like that. <gasps> okay, so I hope those are not going to damage. Smash him. There we go. So we've even got a spray now. We should do that next time. We shall whiz around. Now then, that's the point. Do we have a... Do we have a tractor with narrows? I cannot remember whether you've got narrows. Let's just go and have a look. I think, I'm sure we put narrows on this. We can put narrows on the little Zeta. At that much I do know, I remember. I'll just get this ready because I know what I'm like. If we're going to roll around next time... Then I need to uh, make sure. Care wheels. I thought we did. Smashing. Excellent. I'm going to remind myself. I'm going to go and grab that last job of the day. Because if I don't, I'm going to totally forget that I've got to do this. So I'm going to buy it, fill it, and stick it on the edge of a field. No, actually, I'm going to stick it in the middle of the yard farmyard so that I know that I've got to spray. Yeah, notes to self, living notes. I do like doing that because yeah, and they also do like preparing for the next session. So this is a notes to future self to spray the fields when you come on next time. See. Yeah. Object lessons. I I need those. It's terrible. Yes, I haven't always had a bad memory. Yeah, when I was younger, I used to know people's names and all those type of things really well. But yeah, as soon as you were, well, my senior, first senior moment was when I was 43 years old. Yes, a few years ago. It only goes downhill from there. I think, to be honest, mine's my job's quite a stressful job as well. It's. Uh, I am better at the beginning of the week and I get worse as the week goes on, so it's not all... Yeah, my short-term memory I struggle with the most, as you may have noticed on the Let's Play sometimes. Yeah, I'm a terror, I can drop something down and ten minutes later I've totally forgotten that I dropped it down somewhere. That's dead. But of course, uh, again, another plus point to FS22 is there's that beautiful feature where you can look at your garage and say whereabouts are you on the map. It's built for people like me. 
So yes, hat off to Giants for that one. Yeah, I know they are hopefully going to eventually get around to fixing all the things they keep breaking. Yes, I've got to give them their due for things when they get them right. It's not fair to just go giant splashing all the time when some of the things that they do, like the straps and yeah, I won't say the yeah, the pathfinding leaves a lot to be desired. It's uh, in my opinion has got worse, not better, but yeah, right. So I'm going to leave this in the gateway as a reminder so I cannot avoid it when we come on next time. So for me, that's quite a small session, but we've yeah, we've we've done our fields, we've done quite a lot of work. I like it. It's a beautiful map, it is. Just have a quick look, make sure our animals are living and breathing. Straw milk. Oh, wow, the milk's up nicely. So is the slurry that can be stuck in next time. Wow, that is fantastic. Of course, 60. 60 cows will do that. TMR's going down a lot. Yeah. So 30. Oh, I can't remember. I think I said 20 tons. That was my guess. But it's more than that way more so we need to be grabbing at least 30 odd tons a day I should say looking at that the milk's going up nicely that's 14 tons of milk in two months that's not bad at all right we'll do that next time again shall we get that ready for next time remember that this doesn't really like much bigger than this. Yeah, you would not get away with anything much bigger than the carrot. Yeah, it's definitely not. Can I sneak past you? Tell you what, we're just going to fill this. I am going to stick to my, what I said. Yeah, this is just preparation for next time. Gives us something to do next time, so TMR. <coughs> So, note to future self, feed the cows and spray the fields. Absolutely amazing. Right, and on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to continue with me on this journey, this nuclear let's play. Yeah, I'm trying to show them. Oh, wow. For once, they are not flickering. So whether giants have done something or whether it's... I have seen this before where it doesn't flicker though and then it does flicker another time. So I'm not going not gonna to get excited but hopefully that might have been addressed by either Microsoft DirectX or... Yeah, because I haven't had any driver updates. So this is either game update or DirectX has been fixed or tweaked. So that's, that's hope. That's his hoping that that's been fixed. Alright. Thank you very much for watching and I'm going to say... Goodbye for now.